G'day, and welcome back um, to my channel where I've just been working out how to use the Allen & Heath ZI 10FX. Um, so from my last video, I managed to work out how to get sound out of Cubase, um, or how to hook it all up with the firmware and then get sound out of Cubase. And now I've been playing around to try and figure out, well, how do I record the effects that are actually inside this mixer, into my door? Because so far I've been struggling. Well, here we go. This is how we do it. First thing you need to do is make sure that the button is pushed in for M1, M2, aux and fix. If it's not in, then you'll only have M1, M2, M3, M4, which is basically these four channels. But if you have it pushed in, then what it does is it only has these two channels. So if you record something, you can only record into those two channels. And then what it does is it sends, you use your effects to send, so you send the signal to the effects engine. And then make sure that you send the effects to aux. And so that then goes to the aux. Now here, you can choose whether you want more of your dry signal back in, mixed in with those effects, or you can have it so that there's no dry signal and it's just fully wet and you can sort of balance them out. Now if you turn this down and you turn this up then it gets more and more dry. So it's kind of like this really great sort of balance between dry and wet. Um, now from here it goes out, you have to goes up to the aux master so you make sure that's turned up and then from there it's fed out to your aux channel on your DAW. Now this is Cubase and so in Cubase you have to make sure that you have it set up under, um, go to studio and then audio connections and under audio connections what you've got to do in, on your inputs is make sure that there's mono 1, mono 2, aux and effects okay, I'll ignore these ones I need to get rid of those but that's effectively how what you need so that you then set up a recording so when you go to record your track you can have the dry vocal come through which is your pre fader vocal and then make sure that this, so that's this one has to be set to your mono one um, so that's this one and then it has to be set on the wet to the aux okay so what I was doing wrong was I had it set to effects but you can't hear anything coming from the effects bus because the effects bus happens pre uh, post I think post fade no pre fader pretty sure it's pre fader and so because it's pre fader then the the performer will hear it in their mix on their headphones but it won't get recorded so if you want the effect to be recorded that they're hearing so that you can capture their performance which may well be affected by what they're hearing back from those effects, then, um, you know, that to give a truer representation of their performance with those effects, then yeah, you can record the full wet of, from the, the effect, the outboard effect that's inside the uh, ZI-10 effects. And they're pretty nice effects. Um, I've been through them quickly and had a quick listen. They sound all right. I mean, they're, they're decent, they do. Um, they're latency free, which is great. Uh, I wish there was a compressor in there. That would be really handy. There's no compression um, But that's okay. You can always probably pop a compressor somewhere into stereo 1 and stereo 2 and then route that through but um, still it's not a bad way to do things and Yeah, I tested it out and it works and the beauty of having it fully wet in here is that then you can balance those to the dry out from the wet um, and then if you want, like I did, you can see there's a second wet effect. But what that is, is not the stereo, because it's not stereo. Unfortunately, it doesn't record the stereo-ness of the effects. It only records a mono version. Um, that's still okay. But what you can do is what I did, which is just record an overdubbed um, version, where I just recorded again the vocal that I recorded, um, but with just the just the wet, full wet aux. Um, and that kind of gives a cool effect and then you pan those two and you have a really good effect 
So there you go. That's how you get it done. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you liked it, please hit subscribe, um, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.